all just a bunch of hocus pocus. I'm going to show you how to make this hocus pocus sign and actually I'm going to do a similar sign with a black cat apothecary and we're going to make it look old. As you can see here it looks old like it's been around a long time. I just made it yesterday. I'll show you how to do this coming up. Of course, Halloween is approaching. It's uh, mid-September right now, and things like this are becoming quite popular. And you can take these, this is just quarter-inch underlayment plywood. It's just this. And on the back are little X's to tell you where to nail when you're going to nail it down. This uh, has a birch veneer on it, which makes it very nice for engraving and for making this aged look. And I'll get you in a little closer here to what I mean. It looks all aged and dirty and like it's been around for a long, long time. And to get this effect is actually very, very simple. I'm going to show you how I do it. So one of the things I do to give it this effect, and I'll go into a few other things here as we get into putting this on the laser, is I first coat the wood on the side I'm going to be engraving on with this Watco Danish oil, natural, natural oil. And all I do here is take a, it's just a blue shop towel, and don't go crazy here, but I, I put some on it. You don't want this stuff sopping everywhere, like I just did. You'll take your wood here and just give it a good coat. Try not to get it on your shirt like I just did. And you'll let that set for about 15 minutes. And then take a, a dry shop towel and just wipe it off a little bit. But we're not going to let it dry. We're going to engrave it before it dries. After it's set a while, just take another shop towel or paper towel or whatever. Shop towels are basically they don't leave any lint behind. And just get a wipe down. You'll get a little bit of residual on there, but that's what you want. Okay, now we're ready to get the engraving set up here. Okay, I've got this here set up in light burn. My piece of wood is 8 by 10. So I have set my uh, graphic right here. I'll highlight this. To be 9.5 wide, and that makes it 5.8 high, roughly 6. So this will be in the center of that sign. Uh, you could stretch that a little bit, I suppose. If you wanted to, but I think it might make it look odd, so I'm going to keep it at that size. I've got this set to fill 3,000 millimeters per minute at 60% power. So I may, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. That should work well. I'll be, be using the uh, longer Ray 5 laser, and I guess I need to connect it. There we go. I'm going to be working from center and current position. So I'll show you how I get this set up on the laser. Okay, of course one of the first things you want to do is set your focus. Okay, you'll need to know where the center of your work is. I just made a couple diagonals on it. I made a little X in the middle. You want to put that in so that the laser be in center and I'll fire the laser here in a minute to make sure I am. And I'll line it up on my layout grid here to make sure I'm square with everything. So I can go over here to the computer and I can fire the laser. Right there, everything's square and good. The next thing I need to do, and I always do this, is frame it. Everything's looking good there. So I can just start it. Now here, if you have an air assist, turn it on because that's going to help with the effect here because of the way it blows the soot. So what's my engrave time on this? 49 minutes and 18 seconds. And we'll start it. Of course, I won't uh, keep the camera on for the entire engrave. 
but we'll check back on this from time to time. Okay, engraving's finished. So what you're going to want to do now is not wait. You need to do this at shortly after it's done engraving. And you're going to need to rub on that. And I'll show you what I mean here. So taking your hand, just rub back and forth. You don't have to do it real hard. This will give it that real old time look. After you've kind of smeared it around and given it that old, antique dirty look, you can uh, coat it with either polyurethane, or if you want to have an amber, really antique look, use sparurethane varnish. However, on your first coat, use a spray, because if you try to use a brush, you're going to have a smeary mess. So I always use uh, Helmsman Spar Varnish Spray and let that dry. And then if I decide I want more coats on it, I can either use a spray or I could use a brush. But you don't want to brush a laser engraved wood sign like this with a, on the first layer because you will literally smear everything. And it won't look very good. So there's one example there. And of course, this one's already been coated. So there's another example. And just a couple things you can do, the kind of spooky, antique looking things for Halloween is coming up here. So, did this on the longer Ray 5 laser. I like the machine. If you'd like to get one, there'll be a link in the description on it. As far as these files that I use, these uh, graphics, these were purchased from designbundles.net. If I hadn't already mentioned that, and you can go to designbundles.net. Not sponsored by them, but you can go there and you could purchase and look around, and they got lots of neat stuff there. If you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. I'm Roger in the shop. Antiquey looking spooky signs. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.